Hey y'all. What's up, Sarn? Yeah, so it's official, man. The army just approved the pinks and greens. Y'all better start saving y'all money. Oh no, man. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, let me let me call the PF. Lieutenant Shenanigan speaking. Hey, what's going on, sir? Sergeant Simmons. What can I do you for, Sergeant? Yeah, I know you wanted me to tell you when the uh, they approved the pinks and greens. I just got word they approved it. So, uh, 2020. Yeah! This is so awesome. I'm going to look so cool yeah. in my dress uniform. So sick and tired of these changes, though. Hey, sir, didn't you just, like, commission, like, two weeks ago? You just got here like last week? Oh man, Sergeant, but I just broke in my blues. What am I gonna do? How much is this new uniform is gonna cost? Oh, you good, you got that officer money. But I mean, I've been here for a minute, so you talking BDUs, DCUs, ACUs, oh, man. OCPs. <laughs> Don't get me on the PTs, marshmallows. Oh wow, oh, that's, that's a lot of uniform changes. And now we got the black and yellows. Cheese and crackers. Uh, I, I got you beat, sir. Yeah, you do got me beat. Well, yeah. anyway, Sergeant, when they put out a pricing for it, uh -huh. just let me know. Thank you. All right, out. Yeah. Fit fam, Mick here with another video. Hey, I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, but that's life. But anyways, we're here to talk about the Army releasing the official release of the wear of the pinks and greens coming in 2020. Before we get into all that, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everybody. So on Veterans Day, the Army released the official approval of the pinks and greens. So, if you all don't know what the pinks and greens are, I'm pretty sure y'all do, especially y'all military folks out there. They're formerly known as the pinks and greens, which is basically the World War II era uniform. The Army is going to be probably releasing it Army-wide as soon as 2020. So, if you're wondering what's going to happen to the Army dress blues, the current blues are going to return to being a formal dress uniform. While the Army Greens will become the everyday business wear uniform for all soldiers. That's what's basically being released. But let's go ahead and break this down a little further because I don't find this very feasible. How to like take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. What I do believe is that possibly the new pinks and greens are gonna be for uh, staff members, battalion and higher. Uh, those who usually are indoors at meetings not personnel that are going to be like in the motor pool out and about turning wrenches doing other stuff like that you know maintenance and all that so more than likely it's going to be a staff thing as far as everyday use in the comments down below let me know what y'all think how this is going to play out how y'all feel about the pinks and greens and uh yeah just let me know as far as how much this uniform is going to cost I don't know yet. They're saying it's going to be cost neutral uh, according to the Army. But, I mean, they haven't released all the full details on the budgeting and all that stuff. But word on the street, the material is going to be more quality, so it's going to last longer. So we'll see how that plays out as well. Hopefully, it would be something ideal that's going to last for a while. That way, you don't have to keep buying this uniform over and over. But I expect this to be a very pricey uniform just based off of it having a good quality so since it's been approved 2020 you can start wearing this uniform but you're gonna have until 2028 for it to be mandatory for everyone to wear so hey right now y'all start saving y'all money man y'all got 10 years to get ready for this uniform there's a lot of mixed feelings about this uniform both active duty and veterans alike retired so some like it because it looks cool some don't like it because they got to pay money and they're tired of all the uniform changes, which I get. I'm tired of the uniform changes too, but like they say, the army keeps rolling along. But here's the main truth about this uniform, and I want to be 
very transparent with you all. So this uniform is a marketing tool, which is all right. But if you really look back on it, the Marines, they haven't changed their uniform, their slogan, commercials, and all that stuff in decades. The Army, we're always consistently changing and whatnot. And this year, our recruiting has been down, down, down. They're beefing up recruiters. We're coming out with all these cool new Army commercials. There are those who see the challenges facing the nation and say, send me. They fight for country. They fight for honor. They fight to win. Do you have what it takes? Which is awesome. So I mean, why not bring the pinks and greens back? A World War II era, one of the greatest generations in our country, high tradition, why not bring it back so soldiers look like fighting soldiers in dress uniforms but i don't know that's that's just a little bit what i read my opinions as well like i said in the comments below let me know what y'all think about the pinks and greens y'all got 10 whole years to save up your money just for this uniform so don't stress it too much if you're an officer you got the money for it you'll be all right i'm just kidding but anyways don't worry about the money too much you have a little bit of time just start penny pinching here and there everywhere just to save up for the uniform anyways i hope y'all like this video in the comments below let me know any other topics y'all want to talk about whether it's army related civilian related it don't matter y'all be good remember you only got one life stay humble be great love yourself so you can love somebody and i'll see y'all on the next video peace